Our God is God, our God is kind, whose grace is great and mercy sure, and the whole race of humankind. God's truth from age to age endure. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Thursday, July the 18th, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 37, verse 35 to 42, and Acts chapter 13, verse 1 to 12. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, I have seen the wicked triumphant, spreading themselves like a green bay tree. Alleluia, Psalm 37. Alleluia, I have seen the wicked triumphant, spreading themselves like a green bay tree, and yet they passed away. I sought them, but they could not be found. Mark the just and see the upright, for their end is peaceful, but sinners shall be destroyed together. They have no future. The Most High saves the righteous. God is their strength in the time of trouble. The Most High shall help them and deliver them, God shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I have seen the wicked triumphant, spreading themselves like a green bay tree. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 13, beginning at verse 1. Now at the church in Antioch, there were prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simeon, Lucius, Manon, and Saul. And while they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. And then, after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to Cyprus. And when they arrived at Salome, they proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. And they had John also to assist them. And when they had gone through the whole island as far as Paphos, they met a certain magician, a Jewish false prophet named Bar Jesus. He was the proconsul, he was with the proconsul Sergius Paulus, an intelligent man who summoned Barnabas and Saul and wanted to hear the word of God. But the magician Elimas, for that is the translation of his name, opposed them and tried to turn the proconsul away from the faith. But Saul, also known as Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently at him and said, You son of the devil, you enemy of all righteousness, full of all deceit and villainy, will you not stop making crooked the straight paths of the Lord's? And now listen, the hand of the Lord is against you, and you will be blind for a while, unable to see the sun. Immediately mist and darkness came over him, and he went about groping for someone to lead him by the hand. And when the proconsul saw what had happened, he believed, for he was astonished at the teaching about the Lord. Here ends the lesson.
Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God, turn us away from evil and into the paths of good. Deliver us from the wicked and grant us peace in our day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>